I think it was well known within the band that I don't like taking shit right, right. at a certain point. I made it very obvious. I'm not going to tell you how. <laughs> um, and there was one moment where there was an argument backstage and someone, one ma member in particular, threw me up a wall. So I said to him, if you don't remove those hands, there's a high likelihood you'll never use them again. That is such a British thing to say. <laughs> it's just an awesome thing to say. Wait, what, was, what did he say after that? Oh, he just took his hands off. Oh, amazing. <laughs> From what I've heard is that, like, part of the reason One Direction was made was because of Simon's promise to me that in two years, I'll make this work for you. Wow. So he kind of started with my face and then worked around the... The, the rest I've never told that story before. You you were you wow. were the inception. I was the honorary member of One Direction. Yes, and he's told me that story himself in his house. Wow. Yeah, we did the first song, billion streams. I think it outsold ev everybody within the band, and I was the last to go. Oh. Said hi to Zane, and like Zane, he Jake felt like Zane was disrespectful to him, and he wanted to like say what's up. And so Jake tweeted at him, and then he was screaming in his hotel room because the rooms were right next to each other. He was he was he was, and there was a video of it online screaming in his hotel room. I was like, I thought my brother was about to fight Zane. And then Gigi tweeted at Jay calling yeah. him like ugly and irrelevant. And that went crazy viral. And you know, Jake and is she ugly. Tweet, she tweeted something <laughs> about- But he's not irrelevant. Then she tweeted, she tweeted something about get yourself like a respectful man or something. Yeah, yeah. That and one didn't age very well. It didn't age. <laughs> No, 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 listen, 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 listen. Before, we, before we go, before we go too deeply into this, there's, there's, there's many reasons why I, I dislike Zane, and there's many reasons why I'll always, always be on his side. If I had had to go through what he went through, through his gro his growth and, and whatever else, you know, your your parents are very supportive. Very, very. Uh, my parents are overly supportive to the point where it's annoying at times, and they, they don't even <laughs> mind me saying that. And Zane, Zane had a different upbringing in that sense, and. Um, you can't. You can always look at the man for where he is and, and, and say, "Oh yeah, whatever. That guy's a dick, right?" But at the end of the day, once you understand what he's been through to get to that point, and also whether or not he actually even wanted to be there, and also, I'm I'm so misunderstood my, by myself more than anyone. Like I don't know why I'm what I'm doing or why I'm here. It's like I can't sit here and dick on him because of whatever. And listen, I don't agree with any of his actions. I can't commend some of the things that he's done. I can't be on his side for that. What I can say is I understand and I hope that your only hope, hope is that at some point in their life the person on the other end of the phone wants to receive the help that you're willing to